every time backpacking, camping or hiking season comes around, you want to be getting your items out of hibernation and preparing them for your upcoming adventures. Whether that's a day hike, an overnight wild camp or a long distance through hike or backpacking trip, you want to make sure that your gear is working well for you. Now you don't want to get to camp and find that your sleeping mat has got a hole in it and won't inflate or that your water filter will not pass water through. Yep, that happened to me. So if you want to take good care of your equipment and don't want to have to constantly replace it or upgrade it, then here are 13 things that I do to make sure that your gear will look after you for when you need it. We often think of waterproofing tents, but if there is one thing that you ever do for your tent, UV treat it. UV damage can destroy tents as it destroys the coatings and degrades fabrics, making the material brittle and therefore prone to leaking and tearing. A lot of tents are not UV protected and the ones that are will still need retreating. On your tent and other items of gear, cleaning your zipper is essential to keep them healthy and working well. They're made of small moving parts that over time will wear. So simply clean your zippers with mild soapy water and a toothbrush. It is so easy to lose a tent stake. So have a recount before heading out to make sure you've got the correct number for your shelter, adding in spare just to be on the safe side. Reduce insect bites and prevent yourself from ticks that can carry the harmful disease Lyme disease by spraying your items with permethrin. Now if you're not heading out straight away you can do this in advance and keep the items in a sealed plastic bag until you need them but just make sure to keep everything away from pets. All you need to do is simply spray your items out of direct sunlight and leave to dry for a few hours and each treatment should last for around about two weeks but check the instructions of the brand you're using for the correct information. When your water filter has been in storage, it can often dry out and need a little rejuvenation. So ensure to back flush it before you head out with warm water. You might even need to soak it in hot water for a while if it's a little bit stubborn. If you find it's still not flowing as it should, it could be a calcium buildup that needs more than water to remove it. Soak it in white vinegar for one hour and then back flush with clean warm water to rinse it through. Ensure to blow up your sleeping pad before you go out just to make sure there's not any holes in it. Lie on it, listen for that sound and as long as it stays up then you should be good to go. Replenish your first aid kit, make sure that you replace any plasters that you've used, check dates on all the medicine and also tailor your first aid kit to your trip. Give your trekking poles a good clean and ensure to dismantle them fully. Then wipe down with a damp cloth and you can use a little dishwashing soap if needed. Use a toothbrush on any threads or hard to reach places and whatever you do, do not use something like WD-40 lubricant on the insides of the poles. It is not recommended by the manufacturers. Waterproofs do not stay waterproof on their own forever, so you do need to keep reproofing them to keep them in tip-top condition. You can use washing items with your clothes and sprays for things like your boots or your bags. Also, don't forget to do your backpack rain cover because that will need waterproofing every now and then. It's a great idea to make sure that your stove is working before you head out. You just never know before you head out, something might have happened to it in storage. You can also give it a clean. You can immerse the burner head into warm water, but do not go as deep as the ignition because it will ruin the stove. So just do the burner head if it is very dirty and needs a little bit of a soak. And then it's just a matter of getting a toothbrush or a rag and wiping it down. Do not use anything too abrasive, like steel wool, wire brushes or scrapers. And then once you've fully cleaned it, allow it to air dry out naturally and then just give it a final check to make sure it works. Check your fuel canisters before you go out to make sure that you're taking the full ones and not some partially empty ones or some very empty ones. If you're just going out for an overnighter and want to know how much fuel is left in your canister, then some of them do have a handy little mark on them, which you should be able to see there. So you can see if you float it in water, wherever it goes up to, it will show you how full it is. If you have one that hasn't got those markers on, it is relatively easy to do it yourself. All you need is a full fuel canister and an empty one. And what you're going to do is put the full one 
into water, making sure that there is no airlock underneath it and you want it to be upright. Mark the point at which it so shows you on the water line for the full one. Do the exact same with the empty one, which will be lower down. And then when you've got your partially used one, if you put it in, you'll be able to judge between the two lines how much fuel is left. The other way of doing this, if you don't want to use water, is by simply weighing it. So weigh a full one, weigh an empty one, and then your partially used one, you'll be able to see exactly the difference and how much you've got left. Check all your gear just to make sure that nothing has got any tears in it or any holes such as your sleeping bag, your tent, your backpack, specifically the straps at the top, any waterproof bags. Make sure nothing's got holes in it, everything's working accordingly and fix it if you need it. And finally, it's just a matter of recharging all your items up. Make sure that your power bank has got full charge and everything else that you're taking with you is fully charged. Replace any batteries and also put in a few spares just in case. And you should be good to go. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, not forgetting to turn on the bell notifications to keep you posted when I upload videos. And if you want to support me further, I am over on Patreon. I will put the details along here for you so you can sign up there for further content from me and just to support this channel even further. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, goodbye.